It happened. Roman Reigns got pinned. For the first time since 2019, the nearly invincible, no longer invincible, Roman Reigns, the reigning over a thousand day WWE Universal Champion, got pinned by his own family members. The Usos defeat Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa in an absolutely spectacular main event at Money in the Bank in London, England. What did you think of it? It was quite the moment, maybe one of the biggest in-ring moments of the year. You can only have something like this happen once. You can only build up to a moment like that years in advance just once. And the people that claim that they are the ones, Jimmy and Jey Uso, have all this emotional baggage to get through it, and it is unloaded now. All right, they may have lost the tag team titles to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in one of the best matches of the year, but this has to be one of the best moments of the year. If you watch WWE all the time, Roman Reigns has been browbeating them, manipulating them, just being a total complete narcissist. He is into himself at a level that just makes you think, how far does he get his head up his own Roman Reigns lost. The top guy in all of pro wrestling put over his own family, and Solo Sokoa couldn't get it done either. He splashed through a table. You could see there was something going on in this match. Throughout it, there were moments where Roman Reigns wasn't dialed in. The crowd in London, well known for heckling superstars, got to Roman to the point where he sat and pouted on the ring apron. These people are dumb. They're the dumbest people in the world. Did you hear him say that? At one point, he even got out of the ring and had to get a pep talk from Paul Heyman who claimed they're going to be the head of the table. They're going to be the chief for your family. Do you want these men telling your sons when they get to eat? Wait, they get to tell your sons when they get to eat? That's a whole other story. This wasn't the tribal chief. This was the trembling chief. Roman Reigns knew he was screwed. When Solo went through that table, he knew he couldn't get it done. He got low blowed in a pin by Jey Uso, something he did to Jey in 2020. Yeah, a little bit of flashback. All the notes were there. At one point, Solo he had to even tell Roman, hey, come on, we need to win this match. You didn't get Roman Reigns last night. You got someone who knows their time at the top is coming to a close very soon. The Usos defeating Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa is a sign of things to come. Roman Reigns will not be the WWE Universal Champion forever. Now, it's simply a matter of who is going to take that belt off of him. Is it going to be Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, or maybe that whole running rumor we've heard with Cody Rhodes? Time will only tell.